Welcome back to West Virginia Total Resource. We're continuing our trek across the state and today we will take you to Morgan County. This is one of the smallest counties in West Virginia and many consider Morgan County to be a hidden gem. So don't share this video with too many people so it stays that way. But seriously, if you're looking for an affordable location with plenty of natural beauty, look no further. From Cacapon State Park to Berkeley Springs, Morgan County offers a wide range of activities and adventures. So sit tight while we break down the ins and outs of Morgan County and help you decide if this is the right West Virginia location for you. Let's start with some pros and cons. Coming in at 230 square miles, Morgan County ranks 49 out of 55 in size compared to the other counties in West Virginia. So it's pretty small. This is the westernmost section of the Eastern Panhandle of West Virginia. For those of you unfamiliar with the area, the Eastern Panhandle is the northeastern corner of West Virginia, bordered by the states of Maryland to the north and Virginia to the east. While mostly rural, it's within a reasonable commute to Hagerstown and Frederick in Maryland, Winchester in Virginia, and Martinsburg in neighboring Berkeley County. Morgan County is part of the Appalachian Mountain Range, offering hills, valleys, and forests. The Capon River winds through the region, and the Potomac River borders the northernmost part of the county. You'll find plenty of farmland and open spaces here. This area is known for its rural charm with small towns and tight-knit communities. It's not known for being the center of nightlife, so if you're looking for lots of things to do on the nights and weekends, this would not be the place for you. You can reach Washington DC, Baltimore, and Pittsburgh for a day trip, but you're looking at several hours in the car there and back. Maybe more of an overnight. Yeah, for some. <laughs> Another reason people are drawn to this area is the affordable housing options, as well as the low cost of living. Your dollar stretches further here than in many neighboring counties. Now is the time to like our video if you're enjoying it and to subscribe to our channel so you can keep exploring what West Virginia has to offer. Or fill out the form in the comments if you'd like a copy of our Morgan County Visitor's Guide. Now to some of the downsides, because this is all sounding too good to be true at this point. <laughs> there are limited job opportunities for those who aren't able to work remotely. And while the county offers an abundance of natural beauty, amenities such as shopping centers, entertainment centers, and even major grocery stores are limited. During the nicer months, your peace and quiet may be impacted by seasonal tourists headed to Kikapon State Park or Berkeley Springs to enjoy the bathhouses, warm springs, or golf course. And there are areas where access to high-speed internet and public transportation are limited or non-existent. Yep, it's pretty far out there. <laughs> yep. Your closest hospitals for reference are the War Memorial Hospital in Berkeley Springs and the Berkeley Medical Center in Martinsburg. If proximity to a major hospital is important to you in your home search, we can recommend certain parts of Morgan County to target that are closer to these areas. And while the nightlife isn't hopping, lovers of nature and quaint historic towns will be more than happy with the many options in and around Morgan County. The Kakapon State Park offers a range of activities including golf, hiking trails, horseback riding, fishing, cabins and camping, and more. Berkeley Springs is a place to visit the bathhouse and dip your toes in the warm springs that run through the town. Go to one of the many spas or explore the historic town's restaurants, antique shops, and more. Just watch out because the public bathhouses where they catch the water can be extremely hot. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and while we can't speak to the accuracy here, legend has it that George Washington himself bathed in the warm mineral springs of Berkeley Springs. You can find a stone bathtub commemorating the event in Berkeley Springs State Park and just tons of historical references all over. And there are plenty of amazing parks nearby in Berkeley County, Winchester, and Jefferson County, plus major shopping centers, movie theaters, and more. Now, if you're someone that wants kind of a retirement community feel, but doesn't want the structure or expense of a 55 and up subdivision, here is a statistic that you might like. According to the census, over 24% of the population here is 65 years and older, compared to 21% in all of West Virginia. Zooming out even further, according to the Pew Research Center, only 18% of the US population is aged 65 and older. So West Virginia really is a location retirees are flocking to. If you wanna purchase a home here, be prepared to wait patiently or to be flexible about what comes up. Over the past year, there were only 288 home sales transactions in Morgan County, compared to 2,400 156 in Berkeley and 1,030 in Jefferson. Of those 288 home sale transactions in Morgan County, the prices ranged widely from under 20,000 up to 950,000. The average price being just under 280,000. Homes primarily consist of single family homes with a few twin or semi-detached manufactured and mobile homes sprinkled in. Now let's go over where you can live in Morgan County. As the county seat of Morgan County, Berkeley Springs is a popular place to live. 
The historic downtown area is one of the busiest spots in the county with the springs, a theater, and more. The springs and their rumored medicinal benefits have brought people to the area for centuries. Berkeley Springs had the most home sales in the last year by far, with 189 sales. The average sale price here was around 320,000. While there were a handful of brand new homes, the majority of homes were built in the 1990s and earlier with many historic homes and a majority of homes with an acre or more of land. If you're looking for a cozy cabin in the woods, Great Kakapon is probably where you will find it. The homes here range from log cabins to ramblers to farmhouses, many located on or near the Potomac River. The name for the town comes from the Kakapon River from the Native American meaning medicine water which empties into the Potomac River east of the town. Great Cacay Pond had 53 home sales in the last year with an average price of $283,000 and the most log cabins I've ever seen. Next up is Hedgesville, which is located primarily in Berkeley County, but we will cover the Morgan County portion today in terms of real estate. The town center itself in Berkeley County has a range of small businesses, including a coffee and ice cream spot, a specialty pet food store, and a number of restaurants and fast food spots. The Morgan County portion of Hedgesville had 30 home sales in the last year with an average price of $314,000. If you wanna know more about the Berkeley County side, then check out our video about Berkeley County. Next up is the town of Paw Paw. The town itself is located right along the Potomac River and the town holds annual events like the Paw Paw Festival in the fall and the Memorial Day weekend annual car and truck show. Paw Paw is known for the nearby Paw Paw Tunnel which was constructed over 14 years and finished around 1850. This is part of the CNO Canal Trail. There were 14 home sales in Paw Paw in the last year with an average sale price of $119,000. This is certainly one of the most affordable areas. Many of the homes sold here are historic and built before the 1940s. But you occasionally see lots with newer tiny homes built on them and some pretty interesting options here. Some people describe a visit to Paw Paw like stepping back in time. Author and radio host Sean Dietrich describes a visit to the town on a bike trip where he and his wife were in desperate need of a meal and a friendly fry cook at a gas station reopened the restaurant and made them some burgers. He said it was the best meal that they had had in years. After reading this, we've been trying to figure out which gas station and which restaurant they were talking about. Mm -hmm. So if you know, definitely comment below. And say that for people outside of the area, there's a lot of friendliness. People that are strangers will wave at you and say hello, and it's just pretty normal. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. So that's Morgan County for you. If you want to get to know two nearby counties for comparison's sake, check out our video on Berkeley County versus Jefferson County. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.